Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com, and we are talking today with a few of our top retailers in the Cleveland area. We've got Mary Clymer from Kara's Boutique at Crocker Park. Thanks for joining us, Mary. We've got Chad Schreibman of Alson Jewelers on Chagrin Boulevard in Woodmere. Welcome, Chad. Thank you, Thomas. And we've got Gordon Geiger of Geiger's in Lakewood and Chagrin Falls. Thanks for joining us, Gordon. Thanks, Thomas. Appreciate it. Today, we're talking about Cleveland Shops, which is this new group to get together and collaborate and do some joint marketing efforts, some branding opportunities, seasonal promotions. And I want to talk about that. I want to talk about shopping local. But I think first, we kind of have to address, since we've got you know, the cream of the crop here of local retail, let's talk about the tiger in the room that everyone's always thinking about, which is the pandemic. <laughs> And I want to go around and just see how each of you are sort of dealing with this thing. And Gordon, you guys have been around since 1932. Congratulations. You don't look that old, by the way. <laughs> well, it's, it's funny. Schreiben's a year older than us. <laughs> uh, I think he doesn't look any older than me either. <laughs> he does. Right. But, um, no, we're, we, uh, like I'm, I'm sure everybody, we are dealing with it uh, day to day, uh, hour to hour. Uh, we, we are masking, all of our employees are masking. We're still doing the sanitary, you know, the cleanup and stuff uh, after any, somebody puts something on or, or uh, uses a fitting room or whatever. So we are doing everything we can. Fortunately, uh, we, we think we have a very safe, uh, inviting um, environment to the shop. And uh, we've been that way since we were allowed to reopen uh, after being closed for seven weeks back in 20. Um, right. All, all good in that regard. And Mary, at Kara's Boutique and Gifts, you have curated, which I love how you do this, uh, accessories, clothing, jewelry, apparel, handbags, gifts. How has it affected you? Because you've got a very personal touch with people. I'm sure that's key yes. for your business. Um, it, it affected it early, but now people are back out. I think they're comfortable shopping. We, we are, are masking to our you know, employees right now. And, you know, we're all vaccinated, so that's a good thing. And I think what's really important is we, our store is not, it's large enough that there is enough social distance. You, you don't have, you're not on top of each other. And so you can feel comfortable to shop. And um, really, now people are really, well, they want to come out. They want to, they want to get out of their houses. They want to come shop. And they know that, you know, we're ready to go and, you know, same thing with Gordon is still doing the same type of protocol and all that. Right. Yeah. The protocols are important. And Chad at Alson Jewelers, as Gordon mentioned, since 1931. So that's a long <laughs> a time. Year. Got him by a year. Got, you got him beat. That's great. Watches, jewelry, diamond engagement rings. This is a very personal business, right? This is very one-on-one -on -one and people need to look at the merchandise and really see what they're getting. How has it impacted you guys and how have you uh, evolved through the, through this pandemic? For a long period of time, um, we were just really marrying the client. So if the client came in with a mask, we would mask up ourselves. Um, if the client didn't have a mask, then, then we sort of let that go by. But we changed that right before Christmas time. We went to mandatory masks for all the staff and, and our clients. Um, it has not been an issue at all. The clients are very respectful respectful of, of what's going on. And it really hasn't been an issue. We have not had um, clients uh, say, hey, I'm not coming in if I don't have to wear a mask and so on. So it really has not been an issue. Um, we are close and personal. You know, we've got that three feet of, of showcase counter from uh, the dividing between, but but we take it seriously. And, um, you know, we're cleaning things obviously on a daily basis and anytime anybody touches anything. So it hasn't been an issue at all for us right. with that respect. I think that's key. And when you talk to people, which we do a lot, uh, the, the music venues, um, the retail places, I'm asking them, is it a problem? Are people giving, and they're like, no, people are very cooperative around here. They, they really want to do the best thing. So it hasn't become such an issue. <laughs> right now, this time of year, it's winter. Uh, we've got, you know, it's, it's past the holiday season, but now we're kind of gearing up with Valentine's Day. I know, Mary, for example, this has got to be big for you with gifts. You've got some great brands, Brighton, Ellistein, Liverpool, which is one of my favorites, uh, Pura Vida, Tribal, Nordic Beach. How, how is this? What do you got coming up special here for, for this Valentine's Day season? 
Well, we're having a lot of different events coming up. Uh, next week, we are having a, um, a locket event with Brighton because Brighton does great lockets. And that's a perfect Valentine's Day gift. We can customize the print, put it in there, the picture. And then we have a Galentine's Day coming up on uh, February 10th, which is like a girlfriend party. So we're going to be starting to promote that too. And then we also do a lot of, you know, last minute gifts with men. Men always seem to wait to the last minute, which is normal. But we have lots of great jewelry, um, lots of hearts, lots of um, perfect things for Valentine's Day. So that's great. That's, that's not to wait to the last minute, but that right. seems to <laughs> But when they do wait to the last minute, it's always easy to pop out to a local store. This is the mm -hmm. other thing that people don't realize. You don't have to wait for the shipping. We're here. We're ready to help you. We've got stock. Uh, Gordon, for you, Valentine's Day, maybe not such a big thing, but it's winter season, right? This is your big season. You've got great brands yourself, Patagonia, Pendleton, Barber, and you got that outdoor gear. Well, and all our stuff is is designed to keep you warm and and. Uh, good from the elements and if you're warm and you're uh cuddly and and snug snuggly and all that um that's our valentine's gift uh, idea for you guys uh the other thing is, and we partnered up with sweet designs i don't know if you can see that or not oh yeah they dark yeah. chocolate uh geigers uh, so anybody that sees this say they saw it and uh, we'll give you one of these the week before Valentine's. Oh, man. I'm coming in right away. Sweet Designs <laughs> is one of my favorites. Their dark chocolate is awesome. Another local That's, company. Yep. They're great. They are fabulous. And Chad, you've got some great major names. Uh, Cartier, Rolex, David Yearman, Art Carved. This has to be huge for you. Engagement rings. Is this the biggest day of the year for engagement? I, I don't know. It is a big time. I mean, it's, it's getting people out and, and getting them to think about love and happy occasions and, and go back to uh, Gordon's cuddly kind of comment. But it is a romantic uh, time. And we have a lot of different things and a lot of different price points. So when someone comes in and they're in their 20s or 30s and it's a um, for a boyfriend, girlfriend, vice versa, or um, a newly married couple, you know, things in the three to five hundred dollar range. And certainly for People that are in their 40s, 50s, and 60s that want to market with a nice something special, you know, we have things obviously for five, ten, twenty thousand and up. But but people do mark their occasion for Valentine's Day. It's not just a a, a corny thing that some people may think, but but people do come out of the cupboards and want to do something special. It is a special time of year, and you know what? In 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 all of what we're going through, it's so important for us to honor and mark these occasions in some way, even if we can't have the big groups together. You know, and one way to do it is with gifts because you can still do gifts even if you can't get a big group together. Let's talk about Cleveland shops because this is a really, I, I want to say it's a radical concept because you don't see it in other cities where a bunch of retailers are all going to get together and try to market together and co-promote and work together. And Gordy, it's great that you're, you're already working with Sweet Designs. You've got this cool chocolate promotion. Talk about what other opportunities you see in working with groups, because I know you, you've you been that way. You're a stalwart of the local community for so long. Well, uh, I've, I've just always felt that the lifeblood of our own communities is 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 the independent retail. Um, you know, what would the landscape be, look like on Detroit Avenue or, or even Crocker Park or Woodmere or Chagrin Falls if, if there weren't the unique independent uh, boutiques and shops that uh, support the community and, and uh, you know, support us. So uh, pulling them all together has a, a, been a bit of a challenge and, and getting the word out more now is, is going to be great. Um, it, it's it's like minds, thinking alike, promoting independence, uh, promoting the importance of independent uh, shopping. And so, um, so we're thrilled about it. And so far, so far, so good. We, we need to grow a little bit, though. Right. That's what this is all about. Get the word out. And Mary, I, I love that you curate your collection. You have handpicked selection. This is something that literally cannot be done online. I don't know that people feel like anything is available online but not the kind of service, the customer service that you guys do. How do you see Cleveland Shops helping you sort of get the word out, work together with other local retailers? Well, I think it's the synergy among different 
among the different businesses. I think it's we're building a community just over competition. I mean, we all uh, are competitive, but we also want the landscape to be, you know, healthy. And I think that Cleveland shops also by making it more visible that you know you're an independent local retailer. It's not just a nameless, faceless, um, you know, large corporation. And I think Cleveland shops can really shed a light on, on what is available in the Cleveland area for you know, local businesses. Exactly. Chad, you, you guys have the, the biggest, most major brands in the world right here in Cleveland available. And this is something that people don't get a chance to look at up close and in personal. They really don't, uh, unless it's on someone else's wrist, maybe. <laughs> but, you know, they think you can go online and just and just see these things. You can't. You really have to look at these things. So how is Cleveland Shops uh, an organization you see working with with the way you do business? I have to give credit to Gordon because this was his sort of mastermind, uh, putting this little uh, organization together. So I credit him for this. And the importance of it, obviously, is is just keeping the dollars um, local, you know, and and people don't realize how much and how important it is to the community of when people are spending their dollars locally. It gives us the ability, um, the local independent, to then give back, whether it's donating or charitable things or whatever. And and um, the dollars spent locally are are just so huge, and um, it gives us the opportunity, like I said, to just keep investing growing, reinvesting in our own businesses, expanding our own businesses here locally, hiring local people. So it's really a, a key. And if, if the community can get together and, and really rebound and, and, and support all the local businesses, it's just a win-win for everybody. Thank you guys so much for taking time, Chad, Mary, Gordon. I know your shops are open right now as we speak. I appreciate you taking a few moments to, to collaborate and to work together for, for the, the greater community here. It's something we believe in with Cool Cleveland, and it's something that um, I know all our readers are going to jump on. Thank you so much for taking time this morning. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Thomas. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. It's Thanks. Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.